Hi, this is a belt replacement video for the Sony CDP-CX350. There's three belts in this unit and two of them are definitely going bad on this one. There's one belt that controls the door that opens. There's one that controls the carousel that turns the platter for the CDs. And then there's one belt that controls the, the loading mechanism for the CD into the optical unit. So um, these are the belts I'm going to use to replace them with. There's two of this little bit bigger size and then one of the smaller one. This one goes on the door. These two are for the carousel and the loading mechanism for the CD itself. So I'm going to replace these. I'm going to show you what it's doing first. Uh, we're going to turn this unit on. And all you hear is a grinding noise. And we zoom in a little bit. You can see that the, this is turning so slowly, there's just no power there. It should be turning quicker and smoother than that. So what happens is you'll get an error message up here that has um, something of a disk error or loading error or something of that nature. And it's just because that belt is slipping in there. See, it says table error. The belt is slipping in there, not allowing the platter to turn, and, and you just can't play CDs with it. So we're going to fix that today. And turn this off and we're going to take it apart. There's a total of nine screws to take out. Two on the top here. One. Two. You'll see two on the sides. back come out so we can get the case off of there Okay, all nine screws are out. Now, it takes a little finessing, but you lift up and this will pop off. Lift it straight out. Okay. Okay, so now that we have that off, the belts are actually underneath here. There's two motors and the belts associated with it for the loading mechanism. So to get to the belts, the two belts back here, we have to take off the back. It's the easiest way to do it. 
So we're going to remove all the screws in the back panel except for this guy, this guy, and these two guys. Um, let's get to it here. And this guy come out. So I zoom out a little bit here. Just a little more detail. So there's some brackets here that kind of clip around through a hole. Okay, and that you'll see as you move the plate around, you'll be able to push that. It's a little finagling, but you get it. Same with over here, there's one right here. There's a little kind of a hook that goes through the hole. And if you kind of push up, see how it pops through that hole? Now you can kind of pull this back panel around and gain access to the pulleys. You'll see here's one right here. There's a belt and pulley right there. And there's another one right there. So there's one here. Sorry about the focus. 
Is it slow focus camera. And then there's the other one, so we need to replace those two. I'll get the camera repositioned here to a better angle and we'll continue the process. Okay. So this belt here is the one that turns the carousel and this belt over here is the one that turns or controls the loading mechanism for the CD into the optical part of the um, of the mechanism so <clears throat> so we just need to pull these off you can actually kind of prop something up underneath to hold up the circuit board out of the way a little bit and you can kind of see it's pretty easy to access so all you really need to do you can get in there with a screwdriver or a pair of tweezers or something and just pull it off even your fingers if that fits. And slide it around. There's the one. And we'll go for the other side here. And just lift it off. And it comes right off very easily. I've seen other people do this belt change where they try to get to it from the other side of the circuit board without taking the back off and it's just a pain in the butt doing it that way. This way you have much clearer access to the pulleys and motors. Okay now what I'm gonna do is here's one of the replacement belts. I'm just gonna slide that in there over the pulley and over the motor pulley. be a little tricky but it's not too bad if you just take your time with it and make sure that the belt is not twisted at all sure that there's no twists in the belt. Okay, that one looks good. Now we can put on the second one.
and then pull it through. Access it the hand on the other side of the circuit board. Gotta be patient with it. And then once it's on there, pull it through and make sure there's no twists and make sure there's no grease or oil they got on that that band of the pulleys. But I think we're in good shape on the back now. They're loaded on there, ready to go. Alright, next clip will be for the door pulley. Okay, so this will be showing you how to replace the belt that is underneath the carousel. We have to take out this bridge portion here, pull the carousel out, and then we'll be able to access that motor and pulley belt back underneath there. So, in order to do that, we need to take off this little bridge piece here. And pull back this ribbon cable can come out like that. So that screw, and then there's two screws. I don't know if you can see those down in there. There are two screws down in here that we're going to take out. There's a little bit of oil and stuff in there, so just be careful about what you're touching and whatnot. That you don't get any oil on things that shouldn't have oil on them, like the belt and that sort of thing. We're going to take this out. And then... Separated. There we go. And then we're going to now get these two screws out here. This one and this one. There. Lifts up out of here a little bit. Okay, 
And you'll see there's a couple like little pins if my camera decides to focus. There's a pin here and a little pin here that just aligns with some holes. And, uh, just kind of gently maneuver that around a little bit. So you now we can kind of pull this. And you also see that the door is is part you know within part of this mechanism. It um, slides in and out of this little track right here, or back and forth within that track. So when you put it back together, you got to make sure that that goes inside that track. Kind of hard to show exactly what's going on inside here. We're just pulling this. Gently. So now this kind of frees up space and allows us to pull out that carousel. And the carousel should just pull out. It should just lift out of there. thing beforehand. I'm going to mark where this thing is lined up with the numbers so we'll put it back together. We can make sure to line it up just by putting a marker. See what I did there, but we just put a marker there so we can line up the number where it goes. It may or may not make a difference when we put it back together, if, but you want to kind of put it back the same alignment that you had before. Now this will lift up out of here, up and out of the way. And there is some grease up inside here, so don't set that down on anything dirty. Don't want to get any dirt up inside there. So, set this somewhere safe. Out of the way. Now we can see our pulley here for the door mechanism. So to get that out, you can just get a pair of tweezers in there, pull it out. This is just a continuation of me getting that belt out of the way. There we go. There's our Here's our um, door belt, and here's our replacement door belt. And we're just gonna slide it up underneath there. Let the camera capture whatever it captures. Got the filter there. Twists in it. Doesn't appear to be. Now we are good. All of our belts are replaced. 
we can reassemble. All right, now for the reassembly of the top portion of this little bridge assembly here. This black piece kind of fits under, or sorry, on top of the actual um, door mechanism. Here's the door to the track there that that will slide up inside of this track here from underneath it. So if you just push, you know, with the left hand up in there so it goes underneath this piece and then it aligns down inside of the groove here. It's kind of hard to totally show and explain, but when you see it you'll kind of get a better feel for it. And now we can These, whole, these little pins here again. Uh, everything should be aligned. We can put our two screws back in that part. Here and here. Make sure the center is aligned in here with the middle of the uh, carousel. And in the middle, there is a long screw that goes in. Put that down. And then we can get our bridge metal bracket back in place. Right on top here. Two screws that hold the bracket to the center. And then a single screw up on this portion of the little bridge assembly here. And then you can plug in the other parts. There's a ribbon cable you can be plugged back in. So it's connector, it just slides into place. And then there's this connector that just also slides in there. Okay. Now it's just a matter of getting the back reassembled so we know nothing's shorting out anywhere, then we can plug it in and retest. Okay, now we're just going to reassemble the back. And a 
align the hooks from the brackets like we talked about initially this hook here and then all of these input connectors slide over to get those aligned up and then there's another bracket here and all of our inputs are just about lined up put our screws in place for those Please feel free to fast forward to the end. When I show you that this unit is now working, Okay. We'll get this one more screw in and then we're going to test it out just to make sure it's functioning before we get it all back together. get the primary screws in so nothing is shorting out on anything anywhere. So Now you can see that door obviously works well. But as I turn this, this you can see it. It's not no longer grinding. It's turning quickly. Okay. So, I'm going to hook up some outputs here, line out, my amplifier, okay, there's my amplifier, okay, it's on CD, why don't we load a disc in here and see what it Actually, 
the optical, I believe. You have to put the light to the right. So we're gonna put the label to the right. This is on number 165. 165 camera refocuses. Now, if we close the door, we're going to see the CD move over. Loaded. And spin. Oops. I accidentally told it to go to the Spinning. Let's hit play. And it's playing. I can't play it very long because I will get a copyright hit and they might remove my video. So, but it is playing. Just had a classical piece in there. And I can go from song to song here. Three, four, three. So, yep. We are in action again. So, that is the process to change out the three belts. Definitely not the best video in the world, but... Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. And thanks for viewing.